my beautiful friends! Ah, <coughs> uh, that was a bad idea. A new trailer for the Make Your Mark Winter Wish Day special has just released. And my gosh, this thing is jam-packed with content. And the first thing I want to say is... Oh my gosh! Is that a picture of Hitch going through an angsty teenager phase? And baby Hitch pictures! And a sailor Hitch picture! We finally have an origin story for that hot Hitch calendar! That is not a thing I knew I wanted, but I am so glad we have it now. No idea who this is though. Moving on, it looks like we are finally getting to see more of Bridalwood and Zephyr Heights! Yes! Literally everyone has been wanting so bad for so long to see more of these two locations. And look! Snow ponies! And they use crystals for horns! I love it! And also their expressions are amazing. I will say I feel kind of bad that every pony in Bridalwood knows what gift they're getting since the entire town seems to be getting the same three things for every pony. We are only three seconds into the trailer, by the way. Like I said, there is so much here and not enough time to go over it all. Okay, so let's get into the actual plot of this thing. It looks like we are going to be following the main cast and see how they all spend the holiday. We open up with Sunny saying that she wants them all to spend the holiday exchanging gifts under the wishing star. What exactly is this wishing star? I don't know. But my best guess is that it's this really bright star we see outside. But Hitch says that he has already planned to spend the holiday with his grandma, Figgy. While Pip and Zip need to be home for the Zephyr Heights Wish Tying Royal Carousel Concert. Don't know what that is either, but whatever it is, Zip and Pip have got some awesome looking outfits for it. Izzy, meanwhile, says she needs to... Ahem. Ring in the last night of Wishy Hoof with her hoof made ornament. I am really trying to figure out what exactly that means. Ring in the last night of Wishy Hoof? Pfft, I got no clue. Maybe that's supposed to be the unicorn version of Winter Wish Day? Well, perhaps the Pegasi have Wish Tine? It seems like what's gonna happen is the characters are going to be flying around with the Mare Stream, using it to go from Grandma Figgies to Zephyr Heights to Bridalwood, and then try to make it back to Maritime Bay soon enough so that they can exchange gifts under the Wishing Star. However, we get this line from Izzy. Are we gonna miss the star? Judging by how the ponies seem to be out in the middle of nowhere, it looks like they have crashed the Mare Stream and may not make it home in time for their gift exchange. But, uh, spoiler alert, they make it back. We see them exchanging gifts right here. But I don't know if this is considered to be under the wishing star or not, because, again, I don't know exactly what the wishing star is. But apparently you don't need to be outside to do it. I also want to touch on the animation real quick, because, seriously, it looks like they went all out on this special. Everything is so detailed, the movement of the characters looks perfect! And they took the time to make all these different outfits for the characters, as well as several new environments where before we were limited to just a small handful of locations within Maritime Bay, and that was it! Seriously, I'm starting to think they put more work into this one special than they did the entire series. Now, something I've noticed about this trailer is that we don't see anything of Opaline or Misty. I have mixed feelings about this, as I feel there is a lot of potential in the character department for Misty if she were to spend the holiday with the main five. But at the same time, it looks like there is already going to be a lot going on and adding Misty and Opaline into the mix would likely just take away from the story. Especially since we would most likely just get another side plot about Opaline trying something evil than failing. Make Your Mark Chapter 1 had the problem of too many side plots that not only didn't add much to the story, but in some ways actually took away from the story. So hopefully they don't end up doing the same thing here, which is why, assuming the rest is good, I'm actually okay with them leaving Opaline and Misty out of this. I do want to say though, I feel like there's a missed opportunity for a story here. All the characters celebrate Winter Wish Day instead of Heartswarming. Now, it does make sense that Heartswarming wouldn't be a thing because it was a celebration of how the three tribes put aside their differences and came together in friendship. If they were all divided again, I can see why they wouldn't celebrate it anymore. But now I have to wonder why they are celebrating this new holiday, and why it looks so similar to the previous one. Best guess is that when the ponies split, they still enjoy the holiday, but because they were all divided, they of course couldn't celebrate their unification. So they created a new holiday with the same traditions, but removed the one thing that it was meant to symbolize. Now that the three tribes are reunited, I think there was a missed opportunity here to have the characters revive the old holiday. Sunny could have learned about heart swarming from her father when she was a filly, then introduces it to the main six, who then want to share it with the rest of Equestria. But this special so far looks like it could end up 
actually being really good as it is. I haven't been that excited for this special or really anything in regards to G5 lately, but this trailer does give me a spark of hope that things are about to improve. Also, I have a Discord server now. I literally scheduled it to go up at high noon this morning, and at the exact same time, Netflix thought it would be a good idea to release the trailer for Winter Wish Day, so I've been running back and forth all day trying to balance my time between making this video while also maintaining the chaos that is the server. It's linked in the description below. 